So last time I might have said I would go back to cars, but that didn't quite go according to plan. So I'm doing another spaceship uh, -y thing. This time it's a spin drift from Land of the Giants, also from Mobius. It's a really simple kit and another one day build for me. It's going to be a two part video series as I had a lot of footage that couldn't be crammed into a one part video. So here we go with the unboxing. The interior is nothing to be called special on this one as it just has some uh, paper with a printout on it. Next to the printout interior there's also a nice decal sheet with some um, stripes and logos for on the front and side of the spaceship and then there's the main part of the body in one bag and another part with some clear parts. The body is consistent of a couple of pieces, uh, a bottom piece, top piece, another top piece, uh, some grills and also some parts for in the front to make a sort of a windshield and also another protective plate on that as well. So I'm just going to cut these out of the sprues, um, fix them up with some sandpaper and then just glue a couple of these together. So with all of the pieces cut out and cleaned up a bit, I just glued the top and bottom half uh, with the rear section together as there were a couple of seams that needed to be filled in. Firstly I just added some Tamiya glue and then later on I added a top layer of super glue on top of that to act as a filler as it works really fast as it dries pretty fast as well and it doesn't shrink like normal auto body filler or uh, some of the spot filler I usually use from Zero Paints. Um, that takes a lot longer to dry and it has the tendency to shrink. So super glue is the way to go for now, uh, in my honest opinion. So I just sanded that smooth, um, saw that there were still a couple of low spots, added some more super glue, sanded it smooth again, and then went over it with some 800 grit to finish it all. Uh, at once so that it was nice and smooth and all the deep scratches were removed before I moved on to applying a couple of coats of primer. For this quick build I'm also going for the Tamiya spray can primer. I heat it up with a hair dryer to uh, up the pressure in the can and make it come out a bit uh, finer, more misty and uh, apply it a lot easier without too much 4 inch peel. The first light coat was added, the parts were put aside uh, for a couple of hours to dry. Then I moved on to sanding it smooth as there were still a couple of imperfections and some deep scratches in the parts. So as mentioned, the parts are sanded smooth. I used 1200 grit to do this and then just uh, blew it off with some air and went over it with a tack rag and it was good for the second coat of primer.
second coat of primer on. I let it dry for about an hour, just setting it aside and doing nothing to it. I then bought a spray can of TS12. This is an orange from Tamiya and decanted that spray into a glass bottle so I could save the rest of the paint and use the other part in the airbrush. After applying this first coat of color, I just set the parts aside for a good five minutes to dry and then added the second coat and that's it for the paint.